Hello, we're the History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. And we're doing another History Hike in the Alsace. Of 14 kilometers, but on those 14 kilometers we will find four castles. Let's get trekking. Okay. Done some roadside walking. Time to get on with the fun stuff. Into the forest. We felt hopeful and optimistic as we set off on our hike. A faint haze clouded the sky, but the sun's warming rays still made it down through the trees onto our happy faces. This was one of the most beautiful forested walks we had ever done. Our trail descended slowly down to the pond called Kasper Leheb, from where the Lutenbach stream flowed downhill. From here the path would climb up to our first castle, but it would also bring a deeper, more eerie fog with it. The castle of Petit Ringelstein is more of a proto-castle than an actual castle. Built somewhere before the year 1000, it was abandoned for the newer castle of Grand Ringelstein around the turn of the 13th century. It was shortly occupied again by an army during a siege in the 14th century. It is likely the current layout dates to that time. For more on this small castle, follow the link in the top right or in the description.
The fog felt like it only got more dense as we walked ever onwards through the ancient forest. Grand Ringelstein should be nearby, but would we be able to find it in this deep mist? There's a shape looming out of the fog. Could it be a castle? It definitely was a castle. Not even two kilometers away from Petit Ringelstein, we stumbled across the ruins of Grand Ringelstein, shrouded in mist. A dedicated video can be found in the card in the top right or in the link in the description. The current ruins date back to the 14th century when the castle served as a state administration center. When it was later abandoned, bandits moved in. In response, it was swiftly destroyed by a local lord in the 15th century. Trudging along through the foggy hills, we stumble upon what used to be Castle Hohenstein. Remember at Petit Ringelstein when we said that it was used during a siege? Well, Hohenstein was its victim. In 1338, a large army flattened the castle, leaving a ruinous mess in its wake. These days it's more of a vantage point for hikers, though with this deep fog that wasn't really working for us. For more info, as always, follow the card or the link below. After three castles in what felt like 30 minutes, we now had a long stretch of hiking before we would reach our final destination. We descended the hill towards the valley and ran into some statues named the Giants of Nidek, referencing a legend by the Brothers Grimm and immortalized by the poet Adelbert von Camisso. 
under their watchful presence we feasted on our delicious French bread and typical French toppings. As the sun finally broke through the clouds, we entered the final stage of our hike. Down in the valley we enjoyed a relaxing stroll along the banks of the Hazel stream. We read up on the legend of the giants. The tale tells the story of a couple of giants and their young daughter who inhabited the castle of Nidek long ago. Bored one day, the daughter walked as far as the Elsa's plains and found what she took to be some living toys. Once returned to the castle, her father scolded her and explained that they were humans and that they must be left in their place because they cultivated the land to feed the giants. A nice cautionary tale like the tales by the Brothers Grimm usually are. The German poem is equally beautiful and you can read it using the link in the description. We spotted something through the trees. The final castle. Holy pole! Hopla! Hopla! A waterfall! And a big one. Before we would make it to Castle Nidak, we first have a grueling climb ahead of us. Luckily, we were invigorated by seeing the mighty Nidak waterfall. The sun heating up our bodies, we buckled down and began the ascent up to the castle ruin. As we caught glimpses of it on the way, we tightened our determination. Let's go. Finally, some views. Finally. Hiding with the trees. What is now known as the castle of Nidek were actually two separate castles known as Odnidek and Banidek, a higher and a lower castle. The large tower which makes up the bulk of the lower castle is the oldest part and dates to the early 13th century. The higher castle has less castle elements remaining, 
but does have the advantage of amazing views over the valley. If you want to know what our subjective arbitrary castle score was for this, or any of the other castles, then check out the links in the description or the card in the top right. Thank you for joining us on our 14k hike. Which actually turned out to be 60k. Glad the fog is cleared. Thank you so much for watching. And like, comment, subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff if you want to see more of these kind of hikes. See you next time. Bye. Bye.